Trump came to his second rally of the day, in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, as the rest of his party was still reeling from a lewd tape in which its nominee could be heard bragging about sexual assault. But Trump himself seemed to let go of the backlash to the tape that has spurred mass defections from GOP lawmakers and thrown his campaign into crisis. There was no defense of the tape as locker room talk, no pivot to discussing Bill Clinton's sexual indiscretions, and only an indirect, brief, chiding of House Speaker Paul Ryan, who on Monday had made clear he was done defending the GOP nominee. A night after the second presidential debate of the general election, Trump is back to the messages that drove his primary victories, focusing on opposition to Obamacare, curbed free trade and the end of illegal immigration, as well as his normal tirades against the media and boasts about crowd size. And when he referenced Ryan, it was a minor swipe, by Trump standards, he didn't use the speaker's name instead just criticizing those who can't fix a budget but they start talking about their nominee, nominee, 